Hi everyone, I'm making this video to show you the steps that I take to set up a V-Ray rendering scene. Uh, you've probably seen in the other videos uh, when I set up the rendering it kind of sp uh, time lapse through it, but this time I'm going to take, take my time and kind of show you the steps I take to create a pretty clean rendering and make sure that you can kind of do it fairly quickly. First thing you want to do is open a new project so let's make sure you take a look at what units so I typically set it up with inches and then feet and inches that's just because those are the units that I use here I'm in California and so uh, that may vary depending on what uh, where you're located and what type of units you guys use and what units you're used to um, okay so we have just a basic uh, Rhino project that's completely new and so uh, let's say I just want to set up a scene uh, I don't have anything here but let's just set it up so I just go right here to the V-Ray asset editor and right here the first one you're gonna see the materials then you're gonna see the lights geometry and settings you want to go directly to settings um, and here you have the different options. I typically keep it at medium because that will be the fastest render that you can get with the kind of the best quality. And then when you move down to camera you're not going to change much here unless you see the rendering be too dark and you want to lighten it up then you're going to lower this number to make it brighter or raise this number to make it darker. So that's one one variable. Um, down here under output at the beginning you want to keep it eight, like very low just to kind of show you um, like a sketch of what it's going to look like and then here you can see the different options so you can match the viewport which is what I like to do sometimes just to kind of see exactly what I'm seeing on the viewport but typically six, 16 to 9 will make it kind of like a widescreen like a background if you wanted to make a wallpaper um, these are the other ones that you could use for depending on if you have a specific presentation size um, s save image I don't typically save it to a specific one I do it rendering by rendering um, and then under environment that's where you're gonna put an environment you, you're actually gonna put an image in the back and that's gonna help make it look really really clean and uh, yeah that's overall that those are the variables there's not many uh, the one that I kind of go to first that's going to make the biggest impact is the environment because typically when you go to the the settings of the environment you're going to see this is a pretty straightforward simple uh, environment that's not doesn't have much information and it's going to be pretty you know it makes it look okay but it doesn't give you the all the depth that you probably want and all the light that would be in the information of a very nice uh, environment file which is an image um, so I'll, I'll go here to open and I'm gonna go to the project file here which is here and I'm gonna show you the ones that I have already uh, kinda organized for myself which is there's these you know I have one two three four um, and so let me show you I guess starting with number one you know that's a nice sky and um, and that's the ground you know it's a very simple ground sky and a light almost su sunset it's not up in the sky it's kinda you know a little bit lower in the in the sky so we can see that and uh, right now we don't have any objects so let's just throw a, uh, a cube right here in the in the zero comma zero comma zero let's uh, make it 20 feet by 20 feet by 20 feet tall so that's a let's say like a building that's 20 feet by 20 feet by 20 feet and then one way to see the environment that you just kind of changed is by going here to I think you can go to rendered no it's right here V-Ray interactive so before that you make sure to save save your 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 um, model just make, to make sure because sometimes it does crash so 
Let's go uh, V-Ray exam. So uh, now let's go to that V-Ray interactive and you're going to see that background there. You see that? That's that sky in the back. And so to make it look a little bit better, we want to create a so let's uh that's probably on the default layer. Let's change that to change optic layer. Uh, we will call that object. We'll call this ground. And so we'll create a bounding box around that, which is exactly the same with as that. That that explode. There's an easier way of doing this. There's always easier ways. I always find the harder way. Okay, so now that we have kind of a ground, then let's just make this very, really, really, really large. And we can kind of lock it here. So when we go to V-Ray Interactive, we can see that there's a, if we go to the object, we can see that we have a sky and a background and as we turn we can see that there's a the sun is kind of sitting in the back here and so the other quick setting so that's the first thing you do you change the environment then the ground you want to so then you go here to materials quickly go to plastics shiny plastic shiny gray you can change from gray you can change it back to you can change it to white make it super shiny white and so we can go here so you go here to material by layer ground browse you can assign material by V-Ray then you go to browse simple shiny gray that's the one that we created we'll make it match over there and the object this one will make it black we'll purge to make sure that we only have what we want and then here we go to you save make sure you have everything saved and then you can go into V-Ray Interactive and see when you have a shiny ground it just makes it look so much better uh, the let's just say the the background picture is not the highest quality but it's good enough to give you a you know make a nice rendering and if you don't if you feel like oh that's too dark then you go in, in here and you could even do it while it's rendering or you can stop it go to the rendering go here camera I told you 10 right so you change it to 9 and you'll see here right away that it's going to change it to a little bit lighter so you'll see that maybe the, the sun is a little bit brighter right there so let's uh, let's create a knob uh, an array So you can turn that off, save your file, go to shaded, and there you go. Now you have a very simple setup for the rendering. And if you have everything set up right and you even hit the save frame, you can know where exactly where it's going to render. Then go here to regular render, and a medium quality render is going to pop up and it's going to look pretty good. You can 
uh, what you want to do is you take this into if you want you can almost just this is could be a final product if you wanted but you can always take it into Photoshop and make it a little bit better just mess a little bit with the with the levels and it'll look a lot better so I might show you how to do that uh, right after this so I'm gonna do a quick recap when you come into Rhino you go, go into V-Ray you come in here into render you keep it at medium quality the output you keep it low at the beginning so you can get a draft of what you're gonna have at the end but most importantly you come to the environment you change the background which you can kinda you can download at the link below I, I have my the environments that I use then to make it look very clean you come to the ground go put a very very shiny ground I go to a simple plastic material and I change the color all the way to white and that way you can kinda see the reflection of the sky on the ground and then you have the objects uh, that are not shiny and so it'll it's kinda creates an interesting contrast it makes it look really nice and so yeah those are the settings uh, just a quick recap so I'm deciding to change up my array a little bit so I just wanted to show you a little bit of that capture but here I am with the new environment let me show you let's see what that render looks like um, so let's go to the settings here 1920 we said and we have the environment which is the same as before now we, let's take a look at what that render looks like you know it's looking a little dark here so I'm gonna go ahead and like I said here change it to 9 like we did before I just uh, I had reset the settings so look it looks a lot better this way okay the renders done and it looks pretty good you know we got a pretty pretty good uh, result with a fairly quick setup so I'm gonna go ahead and save this under my renders and I'm gonna override that first one that I had created and keep this as my first one because I want to show you here I'm gonna save and because I want to show you um, when I change the environment to the other image I have which is the second one you know it's gonna create a bit of a different result but it also looks very good and so let me put that in the renderings next step change it again show you another environment this one is let me show you the sunset one this one will give this one uh, I think the contrast will look good it's like a sunset morning okay now we finished and as you can see it creates a, a different effect actually we can make it a little bit lighter with this one because we can tell that it's a little bit darker but for now it looks good so I will show you all of these now the other thing you can do is increase the quality and so for that I am going to let's say I'm gonna put a different environment for this final fi I'm gonna do a final render with this one and I'm actually going to bring in one of the things that I like to to do to make it look ultimately the uh, more real, the most realistic, which is by adding a person. So I have a person standing, which I have already kind of set up. I'm going to also put it in the description if you want to um, if you want to have it and put it into your renderings because it helps kind of give that. See, we thought that those were small objects. Now those are 20 foot footprint. Those are buildings that we're looking at so if we're if that's the case then maybe we could 
also to make it to make a rendering and set up and make it look clean you want your angle your lens length which is your viewing angle to be wider uh, by that I mean you know you want to make it 30 or you know a wider angle to make it look clean um, here we go so he, there we go now let's let's send that render instead of medium want to send it to high render output 1920 by 1080 we'll say that's good enough um, we'll save the file and we'll do a render and let's take a look at what we have okay so the rendering is complete and as you can see by increasing the quality to high it takes a lot longer but it does make it look sharper and a lot cleaner uh, but you really won't be able to tell the difference that much uh, from the medium one it just if you do have the extra time and you want to impress someone and you want to make sure it's a lot better than you know than the average render then you do want to increase the quality and the other thing is you want if you want to keep the background and you have you know you created a nice nice scene you want to save it as a JPEG just because it saves the background if you save it as a PNG it won't save the background so I'm gonna go here to renders and I'm gonna go to 01 JPEG and uh, yeah so once you have that you can go into your you know into your renders and you have that 01 JPEG I'm gonna show you the quick way to just make this look a little bit better I'm gonna copy and paste just so I'm working on the copy open in Photoshop we have the image here it looks nice it's very clean you, as, as you can see you can use this as a final image and just uh, print it or put it in your presentation but there's you, what you want to do is analyze the image because as you see here under levels all of the information of the image is kind of segregated to one side it's all pushed off to one side that means that information here is there's no information here or here so I what I like to do is pull these into where the information is so pull that to kind of the end of that information there and the information here and you can see like it that it the it everything is kind of constrained to that information but okay maybe too far maybe not that much we can make it look but if you can if you see here in the preview it just makes it look a lot better um, this is where we were before if we just pull it in a little bit it gives us a better contrast between you know what we had so we have here you hit OK some images are going to be better than other ones hope you enjoyed the tutorial let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions for other videos thank you very much for watching